600 boy LA man, LA Capone man, get it to him man. Hey. OC2 boys man. Rockin' number nine man, number nine, shoot him, you hear me? Black TV bro. OT up Nunu man, you know how we rockin' man. stuff on my plate man I just found out my mama getting high again she getting high in front of my little brother and, and worst of all she lost that job like it's so much stuff on my plate man I just can't take it babe Charlie why didn't you tell me you know I'm here for you you can tell me anything uh, I don't I don't know Allie it's just so hard sometimes just communicating and talking like I don't know like forget it man I'm just gonna go get up with Mike Mo no, the next day. Next day. Well, I have something that I want to give you. What, what's this? Just open it. Man, what's this for? It's for your protection. Allie, you, you know I don't wear jewelry and shit like this. Like, huh, I don't, I don't want it. No, just keep it. Good, good. Ooh, I was nervous. Y'all like that's okay. Yeah. That's good. I don't know no piano. I don't know no piano. No, you really did well. Um, so you're definitely here from us. Okay. Um, we have over forty. Well, we have about forty slots to fill. Okay. Um, so look forward to hearing from us. Extra. I'm here. Okay, but definitely um. Take a, a selfie. Hashtag drill the movie. Okay, and so a, put it on that too. And yeah, okay. just, uh, just take you a selfie or whatever okay. you got. Put it hashtag drill the movie and let them know that you auditioned over here at Dope. Uh, Dope Radio Network. Yeah. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Yeah. And we really appreciate you okay. coming through. Right, we got a headshot. I like okay. that. Okay. Come on, mommy. Oh, come on. Thank you guys. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So, so, Will Gates, man, you like a professional, man. What's up, man? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, man. It's something I've been doing this for so long, man. Ten years in the making, man. Wow. This is my debut movie, Drill. Uh, one of many uh, productions coming out this year. We got uh, Drill, uh, the movie coming out. I got a project, a documentary with Freddie Gibbs called uh, Gangsta Island that's coming out. As well as I got a, a TV series with uh, us in development right now. So. Uh, it's my last year, like I told people, it's my last year doing music videos on a commercial scale. And it's from here on out, it's just straight, you know, movies, television, documentaries, things like that. So, nice. Just take it up, man. It's my graduation, man. Take it up. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Who else you got on the panel with you? Who's some of the people on the panel with uh, you? I got my partner, uh, Valid, Valid Management. Uh, I don't know where he is right now. Uh, he's a producer. He's the one who came up with that. He's the writer of the script. Very dope writer, it's co-writer. Shirak Barbie, you know, she's letting us use her establishment. Uh, dope radio network, all you independent artists, get up with her. If you want your music to be uh, straight live, you know. Yes, you got my supporting cast, I'm supporting cast. Imani, she's handling all of the business. Strictly business. Casting director. Casting director, you know. Got my nephew, Ellie Mel, he always here for me. What's up, bro? And, what's up, bro? You know, about what, what, what's going on, you know. It is what it is. Man, y'all grinding. I mean, how y'all doing this movie? Y'all ain't hollering at Zach TV, man. What's up? You know, I got, I, I'm got. i an actor, man. What's up, bro? Man, we have, we here right now, bro. Ain't nothing for you to take it. Put the camera down. Let me hold the camera and you go and audition. Read for a row, bro. Yeah. We got, oh, man. We got over, we got over 40 <laughs> positions, uh, 40 sit, um, actors and actresses, roles that we need filled. So, you know, we need as much as possible for the reason why we did this. This uh, particular casting call is to reach out to the city before I outsource and start calling in people from LA and New York. Because don't get it twisted, Will Gates has a lot of friends in high places. You know, I got Benzino out in Atlanta, he's supporting it. Um, uh, Tony Allen, uh, Memphis Grizzly, he's supporting it. You know, I can make a couple phone calls. Got, got a lot of good people over there, Interscope Records that have backed me. So, you know, but I, I just wanted to start home before we reach out. Man, it's, it, it's such a coincidence. What made you pick 2015 as summer to attack with Drill, man? Uh, it just felt right, right, man. It just felt right with it, with, uh, with everything going on, with uh, the amount of time that I spent in uh, production for our music videos. It just felt right. It just felt good for me to, to actually jump off the porch and, you know, tackle this for my um, debut film as 
many of the great directors before me have done. They always start off with the hit dramas, you know, John Singleton, uh, the Hughes Brothers, you know, things that I'm, I'm just trying to follow that Spike Lee. I'm trying to follow follow their footsteps, the greats. Most, the most definitely, man. I just I got one more question before I get out of here. I know y'all got some work to attend yeah. to, man. Uh, I appreciate you inviting me down here, but yeah, yeah, I always. How does it feel putting on for Chicago as far as directors goes? Oh uh, man, it's, to be honest, man, it just feels normal because I've been putting on for a long time, man. Like a lot of artists before they were even anybody, I treated them like that with somebody. Mm. I always came around with my camera, I always interviewed them, I always cared what was going on. And that situation when the rest of the world, per se, didn't even give a damn. You know what I mean? I always sparked that interest. I always believed in Chicago arts and the Chicago talent. So, which is, that's why I'm 10 years in the game, man. You know, um, Will Gate, thank you, God. Most definitely. How do you stay relevant for so long? Like ten that's a long time, man. Uh don't drink the Kool-Aid, man. Don't feel don't um don't don't get Hollywood. Don't don't be full of yourself, man. Always be open to learn. Always uh be uh subjective to uh construct constructive criticism. I always critique myself. I don't always think uh the things that I do is, is better than anybody's. I don't compete with anybody. I don't watch anybody else's videos. I kinda just stay in my own zone and just Try to stay, you know what I'm saying, creative as possible. Wow. And for a person out there that's been living under a rock for like the past 10, 15 years, who are some of the artists you work with? Shit, man. Just put it like this, man. I've, I forgot more things than y'all probably even learned, you know what I mean? Straight up. Like I shot with Rick Ross, uh, Yo Gotti, uh, Walker Flock, uh, Young Scooter, uh, Chicago artist King Louie, Young Bibby, I mean, uh, Lil Bibby, uh, King Louie, uh, Lil Mouse. Um, man, the list goes on and on. Just put it like this. I got over 500 videos under my belt. Wow. So I'm in the process of uh, writing a memoir. Uh, it's it's kind of like me giving back to all of the young directors. Uh, it's going to be a, a, a table a table counter book, maybe uh, 100 pages, with a lot of um, pictures you've probably never seen and a lot of backstory. So I'll tell you a lot of things that uh, me and Bum J have been through or me and JoJo Capone or we're working with uh, Walker Flocker for a week in Atlanta. Like I tell those little backstories. Uh, I show you my first uh, open world films logo, which was horrible, but you know, <laughs> it right, yeah, yeah, yeah. somewhere. You know what I mean? I, I can tell you uh, the story about how I felt uh, the first time I ever uh, my video made it to MTV Jams. Wow! The first time my video ever made it to BET 106 and Park. You know, that's a selective few. Like not not many people go to uh, 106 and Park to countdown. True. Uh, just a lot of lot of plateaus and things in my life, man. It just really, really made me very, very sure about what I do and confident. You know, one thing that I'm always remember from you is the Chicago version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. that inspired me to believe it or not. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like yeah. I got a story behind that, man. Like how I came about. I was fresh out of college. I didn't have any resources or know anybody, so I was going around. You know. Uh, this is how I got close to a lot of artists. I was telling them that I was making a documentary for MTV because back then people didn't have cameras. So right. you had a camera, they fucking believed you. <laughs> and uh, that's how I got a lot of exclusive uh, interviews. And then I, I, I started to collect so much footage, I didn't really know what to do with it. I hooked up with my big bro, Jojo Capone, man, and we came up with the Chicago version. And we put out our first issue. I was like, you've been helping me so much. Uh, let's put you on the front cover. And then, you know, from that point, everybody like shit. They want to get on the front cover. We started traveling. And, you know, and it just took off, man. It was pretty great. We probably sold 10,000 copies independently ourselves. Damn, really? Yeah, and it produced myself. Everything was in-house, you know what I mean? We, we burnt the CDs. We burnt the uh, DVDs. We packaged them. Everything was in-house. We didn't outsource anything. So wow. we put in the groundwork, man. That's dope, man. You know, like, you see Zach TV one try to follow them same footsteps, yeah, brother. Yeah, I got I got I just went at my mom's house, man, cleaning out. I got a I got a duffel bag full of uh D V uh D V tapes, man. Those tapes are pretty expensive. It was like uh fourteen ninety nine, sixteen ninety nine for two. I probably have three hundred of those in there. So Damn, you know, bro. just and DVs alone I probably spent more money than the average person would probably spend on a camera or a music video for that matter. And just media. Wow. This is your life, man. This is dope, man. Like, yeah. we salute you. The city of Chicago appreciate you and what you've done. Yeah, man. All the kids out there and all of the, the aspiring directors, and the best advice I can ever give you, man, is don't give up. Believe. Study your craft. And you got to invest in yourself. You can't expect for anybody to let you shoot a $10,000 video and you have $100 worth of equipment. You have to invest in yourself. You want your haircut with the best uh, clippers. 
You want uh, your car wash with the, you know what I'm saying, the best cloths. You want to wear your clothes made with the best threads. The same thing works for a video. These artists want their videos shot with the best equipment. So study your craft, man, and you'll get your just due. Nothing happens overnight. Look at me. I'm still working. Wow, that's dope. I got one more, one more question and I'm yeah, done. I know y'all said. What's up, man? Why you always go to these videos or whatever with these phone pauses? What's up with that, man? Like, uh, <laughs> are they comfortable or something or what? Uh, man, that was a story, man. Like, uh, I, was, I was going through a dark, dark period in my, uh, my life. You know what I'm saying? I just lost my father. And then I had kind of just uh, picked up the, uh, the habits of self-therapy. I just started collecting gym shoes. Phone pods that happen to be one of the shoes that I collect. Uh, I, I recently, you know what I'm saying, I'm bad now. So these are motherfuckers expensive. They're expensive. I started slowing down on them, but you know, I, I racked up a couple, man, more than, man, I probably got man, a couple thousand in phone pods. Damn. Yeah. That's crazy, man. I know they comfortable when you're standing and you holding the camera doing yeah. footage, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah, like socks on a hot day to have your feet funky as hell. <laughs> you ain't never lying, bro. You. <laughs> Yeah, thank God. Nah, but man, Will Gates, it's a, it's an honor and it's a pleasure, man. Man, it's a pleasure, man. I feel famous now, man. Shout out to Zach TV. Nah, you interview me, man. Nah, you the man. No, you've been somebody, man. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. We're gonna holler at you, brother. No doubt, man. Appreciate you. Just find, just find yourself getting into some trouble. They just been shot at. Yeah. You know what I mean? You just gotta be careful. Yeah. 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 Uh, he's hanging with two guys, Mike Moe and James. We've been, you know what I'm saying, we've been in a part of the game. We've been used to the lifestyle. So us getting shot at is pretty much a, a day in the life. We're not mad. We're not shaking up at all. So you have to display that, that frustration while we kind of look at you like, man, you're bugging out. So that's it. Before we start, I'd like for you to uh, say your name, the role, and your age. All right, my name is Carlos Griffin. The role I'm um, auditioning for is Love Treasy, and I'm 32. Okay, and uh, one more side note, don't be afraid to look at the paper. It's not a memory test, I just want to really test uh, your um, your skill on how to channel different emotions. So I know how to place, place you. So, let's start. Same. Man, what's wrong with this nigga, man? Lil Treasy, you good, bro? Bro, I ain't really with all this shit, man. Shit. I mean, I seen you niggas hustling, and the nigga wanted to get that bread. Bro, this nigga shooting at us, man. Niggas I don't even know. I got 50K on my fam head right now. I'm trying to get that shit back. Man, this nigga tripping, man. Mike, I told you this nigga was a lame, man. I told you that shit. Nah, bro. Nah, he good, Joe. Treasy money not a problem, baby. We gonna get to this cash, bro. We could we grind it out. We can get 20, 20 a week out here with no sweat. Shit, I hate you, man. We need to get it now, though. Fuck all that beef shit. Boop. We got action now, fool. Talk to me, boss. Yo, we over here, man. We starting this dice game, man. Y'all trying to lose some money? Yo, yo, you niggas trying to hit up this dice game, bro? Nah, man. I gotta go check on my grandma. I'm finna dip too. If you going with green bean over here, you better be careful, my nigga. Yo, you nigga sweet, man. Treasy, you down? Come on, bro, let's go get this money, man. We need this come up. Hey, bro, fuck that dice shit, man. You should be trying to save your bread. Yeah, you talking that save your bread shit now, boy, but when I hit him up for these bands, you gonna be running around this bitch talking about what a motherfucker owe you and shit, boy. Nah, nigga. Soon as your ass get some paper, you're gonna be tricking it off on the brick squad top. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite. Good read, bro. Trez, you didn't have to be so mean. I don't have time for this right now. I have a lot of pressure on my, going on with me and my family. I just found out my mother's getting high. The worst of all, she's getting high in front of my little brother. She lost that job. It's just so much pressure on me, man. I just, I can't take it. Trash, why didn't you tell me? You know I am here for you. You can tell me anything. It's just hard, Allie, like. It does, no, it records. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. What's your name? Um, my name is Jessica, um, but everybody knows me as Juicy. Okay. And I just auditioned for the role for the trail movie. Okay. 
Um, I read part of the script and it seems like a great movie. It's very true life. It's exactly what's going on right here, right now in Chicago. Most definitely, most definitely not. Do you think it's a good look that, you know, the drill is actually given back to Chicago? Yes, yes. I think everybody could relate to the movie. Just a little bit of script that I saw, I felt a, kind of connected to the movie. It felt like everyday experience. It feels like what is going on in my life right now and some of my friends' life. So I feel like it's, it's definitely going to give back and everybody can relate to the movie. Most definitely, most definitely. Juicy, shout out to Zach TV. Hey, Zach TV, how you doing? I'm blessed, I'm blessed. I wish you the best of luck and I hopefully we see you in a movie, you know? Thank you, most, thank you so much. Most, and is this your first time acting or what? Uh, professionally, yes, I have acted in church and when I was in high school, I wrote a couple of screenplays on a monologue and got a couple, of four roles, four awards, uh, three years running. So. Wow, good for you. <laughs> Juicy, that's what's up, that's what's up. I want you to take care and I wish you the, the, the utmost, utmost, you know what I'm saying, luck, you know what I'm saying, in life, and I hopefully able to see you on the big screen, okay? All right, thank you so much. Okay, for sure, man, take care. What's up, God? Man, what it do, man? This is Lola Bell, shout out Zach TV, man. Eastside Crazy 87, King of Cottage, man. Let's get him. Where we at right now, bro? Man, you already know, man. We at the real movie, man. Casting call, you know what I'm saying? Y'all come up here from one and nine. Yeah, I think it's one and nine today. Dope Radio Network. You know, that's the uh, place of Heron Track Shot Radio. No talking. Hey, yeah. shout out to my man, no talking, man. You gotta give me my clothes. Turn up, man. Oh, hey, man. You need to send Zach TV his shit, bro. That's what it is. He playing, man. Give me my clothes, man. Hey, give him that shit ASAP, man, so he can shout you out. You already know how we rock, man. This is the land. Heron Tracks all day. Be sad crazy. Love, bro. <laughs> You nervous, man? You ready? You nervous? Don't be nervous, man. Go in there and be yourself, bro. Mm -hmm. State your name, your age, and the role that you're applying. I mean, just your uh, audition. Now, that's it. Say your name. Okay. I'm um, Brianna. Well, I'm Brianna Boyd. I'm 19 years old. Um, and your audition for Ali. Yeah. Um, audition for Ali. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to set it up. Little Treasy turns and walks away. Ali looks at the preacher and mouths, I'm sorry, and runs to catch up with Little Treasy. They continue to walk. Treasy, you, you didn't have to. Treasy, you didn't have to be so mean to the preacher. I don't have time for this right now. I don't know, I don't know what's, it's so much pressure going on with me and my family. My mom Duke, she shooting up last night. I caught the aftermath of it. She did it in front of Lil' Quick. She had been clean for six years. Not to mention, she just lost her job. Everything feels like it's tumbling down. I gotta take care of all this. Tracy, why didn't you tell me y'all, tell me? You know I'm here for you, and you can talk to me about anything. In there or? Yeah, in, in, in there. Uh, my my name is Eric Breeze. Uh, my experience in there was cool. You know, uh, right. I like the uh, I like the the, the uh, dialogue. You know, it's uh, it sounds accurate as far as you know. You want accurate dialogue in movies like this. You gotta have like the, the updated slang and all that type of shit. You gotta you gotta all coincide so it's believable. Most definitely. This is your first time going out for an acting role. No, I actually did a play uh, two years ago called Dating Pains at uh, Prairie State. Uh, there was about four, five hundred people there, you know. It Damn. Was a, it was a real play, you know. And, uh, you know, I, I uh, rehearsed for about three months, you know, about two, three times a week before we did it, you know. So it was a real thing. It was, it was a big deal. That's know? what it is, man. You feel real Gates showing love to the city by having these casting calls in Chicago? Yeah, because he made it accessible. You know, it's just the, the thing in Chicago is there don't be no accessibility. You gotta dig so deep to access stuff out here. It's just not openly and readily there, you know? Yeah. Like, okay, shout out Zach TV, DJ Breeze, every 3, 3D in the building. You know, we doing it big every day, all day. You heard me? That's it, man. Love. Yep.